Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Duane. Uh, first, I want to thank my friend Shalisa Shell. Sent me another postcard. There's the first one she sent me with some fat wood. <clears throat> this one, she did something really clever. She made a little compartment on the back of the postcard. <laughs> and she sent me um fatwood anonymous uh business card membership card actually there's two of them whoops <laughs> how cool is that <laughs> and uh fatwood anonymous sticker and let me see there's another one two of those <laughs> and more Shalisa shell stickers and I'm not sure if this is a sticker or a business card but it's the back is covered in tape. Anyway, thank you, Shalisa. <laughs> that was cool. And I will put a link to her channel in the video description so you can go check her out. She does, uh, she collects fatwood. She lives in Michigan and they have a lot of fatwood there. And she makes fatwood fires and she, she's invented this fatwood fire party dance and song. <laughs> she's a lot of fun. Check her out. Next up, uh, shout out to Taj Morris. So there you go, buddy. Uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, there's your shout out. Okay, who wants to hear a joke? What did the fish say when he ran into a cement wall? Damn. <laughs> okay, one more joke. Two cannibals are eating a clown. One cannibal turns to the other one and says, This tastes funny. <laughs> I know. I just had to do it. Here's a strange story. I usually when I catch a spider or a fly or something in my house I usually try to catch it alive and take it outside and set it free okay just kind of a weird thing I do uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one anyway anyway so several years ago I caught a really ugly spider in the house I caught him in a coffee can put the lid on and I was going to take him outside and turn him loose, but it was it was nighttime. It was dark, and so I decided to wait till morning. So I put the coffee can on the shelf. Okay. Three weeks later, I'm looking at the shelf, and I'm wondering, why is there a coffee can on the shelf? And all of a sudden, <gasps> I, I remembered the spider. <laughs> I went, oh no, <laughs> taking the lid off, I'm expecting to find a dead spider, right? Take the lid off, and he's alive. And he made this really cool web in the shape of the coffee can, but like a funnel. Like, it was big at the top, and it went down, and it was small at the bottom, and that's where he was, way at the bottom, just hanging out, waiting for a fly or something to land in his web. <laughs> Dude, he was still alive in that coffee can for three weeks. <laughs> I told him, man, you deserve to be free. So I took him outside and I turned him loose. Here's another strange story. I attended business college. I, a business college called Modern Business College. 
in, back in the 1980s. And I graduated and I got a certificate for professional accounting. That was the, the most stringent course they offered at the time, professional accounting. And that led to my career in accounting. Anyway, <clears throat> about a year after I graduated, the Attorney General, the Washington State Attorney General's office closed the school because the president of the school had embezzled thousands of dollars in grant money from the school. <laughs> So I learned accounting at a school that was shut down because the head guy was an embezzler. Oh man, that is messed up. Okay, last story. I worked at PetSmart from 2002 to 2004. And I was a lead cashier and one day a woman and a little girl brought in a hamster that they had bought and they were afraid there was something wrong with it and they were expecting to exchange it for a new one <clears throat> so they brought it over to to my cash register and uh, told me the story and uh, I said okay let me let me look at it and I'm like oh god what am I gonna see <clears throat> Open the box. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's, it's alert. It's active. It's not showing any signs of injury. I said, so what's wrong with him? And the little girl says, he's got something coming out of his butt. And I looked. <laughs> and I realized <laughs> what it was. <laughs> um... <laughs> Male hamsters kind of drag their business around behind them. And it looks kind of funny. Uh, and that's what she was seeing. She was seeing his, uh, dragging his business behind him. So I told the little girl, um, there's nothing wrong with your hamster. See, he's a boy. And those are his boy parts. And... The, the little girl and the mom both went, oh, and the little girl said, could I train him for a girl? <laughs> I said, you know, I would be happy to do that for you, but here's the problem. Our store only has boy hamsters. Seriously, this is true. We only had boy hamsters. A different pet smart 60 miles away only has girl hamsters. The corporation does it that way to prevent hamsters having babies in the store. Okay, so all we have are boy hamsters. If you take your hamster to the PetSmart 60 miles away, I'm sure they will exchange him for a girl if, if you really want to do that. But he's really fine. He's really okay. And she's like, okay. <laughs> So they left. Um, yeah, I don't know what they ever did with him. Probably flushed him down the toilet. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.